Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel with a new tutorial. So today's tutorial will be about editing your time-lapse pictures using Adobe Lightroom and Adobe After Effects. So let's not waste any time. So first off you will need to import your, your time-lapse pictures to Adobe Lightroom. So you want to click on the import button first then locate your pictures so I'm going to locate my raw pictures click on the folder and make sure all images are selected check all and then click on import wait for it to import all of your pictures as you can see here then you want to go to the develop section this is where you're going to edit your pictures so here we are in the first picture of our time-lapse sequence it looks a bit overexposed so I'm going to adjust that and I'm going to continue playing around with the settings until I find the look I like ok now that I'm done editing the picture what I'm going to do next is select the first picture and then press ctrl A to select the rest of the pictures with all the pictures selected I'm going to click on synchronize this window will appear I'm going to leave everything as it is and click on synchronize what this will do is apply the editing of the first pictures on the rest of them Here, as you can see down below now it's time to export these pictures so I'm going to edit and export and I'm going to choose where I want to save these so I click on choose and I've already created a folder for the JPEG sequence so I'm going to select it now if you want to name your pictures I recommend that you leave the original number in so that After Effects doesn't mess up the order so you select custom name plus original file number and then you click on export exporting is going to take a while depending on the number of pictures you took so be patient after exporting all of your pictures it's time to import them into after effects so go to the empty space in the project panel and double click there and navigate to the folder it's already selected here so I'm going to select the first picture and make sure JPEG sequence is selected. This will tell After Effects to bring the rest of the pictures as well. If you miss this step, After Effects will bring only the first picture to your project panel. So make sure it's selected and click on import. Ok, After Effects have created a JPEG sequence for our time lapse. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to make it 10 seconds long, 24 frames per second, and then click OK. I'm going to bring the JPEG sequence into the composition. Now, the first thing you will notice is that the JPEG sequence is way larger than the composition. This actually will allow us to do simple zoom animation without losing much quality. First I'm going to try to fit to fit the sequence into the frame. As so okay, then I'm going to adjust the work area to the length of the sequence. Good. So let's take a look. Alright, we have a basic time lapse here and it looks good. There is something I want to mention and that is we can actually skip the Lightroom step that we did at the beginning by importing directly the raw images into After Effects but the downside is that the processing of raw images is slower. I'm going to illustrate. So double click in the project panel and go to the raw folder raw pictures, first picture, camera sequence and import 
Now the first thing you will notice is a new window. It's a bit similar to Lightroom. It would allow you to adjust the first frame of the sequence and then apply it on the rest. I'm going to make a quick adjustment and click on OK. OK, so next I'm going to import the raw sequence into the composition. Now you will immediately notice that it's taking longer to process. Notice the loading bar here, the blue one. So I'm going to scale it down to around the same as the JPEG sequence. I deactivated the JPEG sequence by the way. As you can see here, I'm going to try a RAM preview. Let's see how long it will take. First frame. Second frame. That's very slow. So as you can see, working with raw sequences in After Effects is like a nightmare. So it's better you edit your sequence in Lightroom than export it as a JPEG sequence to After Effects. Ok, I'm going to do a simple zoom out animation using the JPEG sequence of course. So I'm going to use a scale and a position to do that. Let's see, I will activate the stopwatch for the position and the scale and then I'm going to take those two keyframes to the end and play around with the scale and the position this looks good it's the ramp preview ok as you can see we have a simple zoom out time lapse animation looks good so with this we wrap up our tutorial if you enjoyed please like the video subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below if you want to see any future tutorials let me know in the comments below thank you for watching and see you next time